Angela, Angela up in South Carolina. Amen. She wants her two sons to be saved. Sister Faircloth in North Carolina. Amen. Wants her uh, two daughters to be saved. So remember that. Remember the gentleman that gave his heart to the Lord Thursday night on TikTok. Uh, his name was uh, Frank. Amen. And uh, he gave his heart and life to the Lord. Amen. On TikTok the other night. And, uh, remember him in prayer. Amen. Uh, also remember our uh, live streams this morning. Big old live. Facebook live. Amen. We didn't get to do TikTok this morning. Amen. But they'll probably be mad at us. But amen. But uh, remember them, amen, this morning. But remember all those that watch us, amen. We've got several, several people that watch us from Alabama, uh, Georgia, Mississippi, Oklahoma, Florida, uh, California. Remember uh, Brother Darrell, Sister Frances. Uh, she wanted us to remember her mother, amen. They had to reset her hip where she had fell and broke her hip. So I forget how old she is. But anyway, remember her in prayer. Amen. That God would touch her mother and her aunt. Both, amen, are in rehab. Amen. So remember them. Remember Sister Marjorie Burkett and her family. Amen. Sister Judy McCarty and her family. Sister Lynn and her family. Sister Carly Pope and her family. That's our California church. Amen. Uh, sister Sister Lynn, she lives in uh, Illinois or Missouri. 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 Amen. So remember that. Amen. Also remember the one I was telling you about down in uh, Georgia, the farmers down there. His wife has got over the flu. She's doing better, but she's still fighting that uh, immune system, uh, that uh, autoimmune system. Amen. So uh, remember her in prayer that God would touch her. Amen. Remember our churches around this community. Amen. Remember uh, Sister Tammy Brown this morning. Amen. She desires our prayers, church, because she is really having a hard time breathing. She's got the fluid that's getting up around her lungs and her heart. And then she's all been on oxygen for a while, but it's getting where it's just getting hard for her to breathe. So remember her and her husband, Timmy, this morning. Remember Sister Jackie this morning. Amen. She's not feeling good. Sister Darling, amen, is still not feeling good. Amen. So remember that. Also remember Sister Lori and Brother Rick. Amen. They, they can't wait to get back down here and be in service with us again. Amen. From Indiana. So remember them. Remember Sister uh, uh, Wintrigger. Amen. Down in uh, Texas. Amen. She is battling Crohn's disease. Amen. They thought she had cancer, but now they said she got Crohn's disease. She didn't have cancer, so we, we told we wasn't going to claim that neither. Amen. We're going to believe God's going to heal her. Remember her husband, Brother Warren, he's got to have surgery on both of his hands. Uh, he's a truck driver and shifting gears and all that stuff messes your hands up. So remember him in prayer. Uh, we got several people, amen, that's out this morning. So remember them in prayer this morning that God would touch them. Anybody else got a prayer request this morning? Go ahead.
thank the Lord, amen, they're here. Amen, he's a drummer. Amen, so. <laughs> Brother Johnny said, we'll have a drummer. We're going to work him this morning. Amen. Uh, <laughs> that's what Bob and do. Amen. <laughs> but remember the service today. Amen. Uh, everybody get in this morning. We can have church. Amen. amen. And I, 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 I believe that God is uh, is moving in the church. Amen. I, I've seen things. But I want you to pray for our land and country this morning. Amen. Pray for our nation. Uh, people say you ain't supposed to talk about it, not say nothing about it. But if you watch the Super Bowl, then you see what was going on in the Super Bowl. It was all about Santana. It was all about safety. And they were putting it out there. I mean, they were putting it out there. They were letting you know that it was all about Santana. Amen. They were doing Santana dances. They were putting curses, trying to put curses on people and everything. And people just didn't realize it, but that's what they were doing to the United States of America. And you think, well, they still cheese. Oh, no, it was a ball off Super Bowl. I'm just going to tell you. And uh, listen, you say, Brother Miller, you're crazy. No, I ain't. You just watch it and you'll find out. You can see it. One of them sitting there in the audience giving the signs. Amen, the satanic signs. Had an upside down cross on her neck. Amen. Then they want to talk about the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. They think, boy, I, you know. But listen, this is what our world's coming to. Tennessee the schools down there are having their seances after school. Oh, we're proud. We've had a perfect turnout. Children are... Then I saw a thing on the news about Disney come out this the little cartoon that's telling kids that it's all right to worship Satan. That's what our nation's coming to. And we better start praying for our nation. They're after our children. And if they can get your children. Because they know the children of the church of tomorrow. Amen. They're the church of today, not tomorrow. Amen. They think that it's... But well, listen, I'm telling you, church, if we don't take a stand against what's happening, it's bad. Amen, it's bad. You say, well, that stuff's not real. Oh, yes, it is. Read the Bible in Isaiah. Amen. God said that he didn't like you conjuring up the, the dead. He didn't want you to conjure up the spirits. That's sorcery. It's witchcraft. Amen. It's in the Bible. Read it. Then that's what they're doing today. Amen. Pray for our, 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 our leaders of our country. Pray for the ones that needs to be born again. I'm talking born again. Not say they're a Christian. Because everybody can say they're a Christian. Amen. But remember, they need to be saved. Amen. They need to be born again like Jesus told Nicodemus. Amen. Anybody else got a prayer request before we pray? Yes. Amen. Remember that. Somebody else? Amen. Remember Sister Linda Crenshaw and Brother Ray? Amen. Sister Linda's been having a lot of problems with her back and her legs. It's making her legs hurt her real bad. Amen. Uh, that's for prayer, so remember that. Also remember Brother Kevin Payne this morning. Uh, I actually remember James Lawson and uh, Ashley. Amen. This morning they need our prayers. They're going through some things. Amen. And we've got to move on. Amen. Remember uh, <coughs> Brother uh, Danny Patrick this morning because he's got to lose a little more weight so he can get that back surgery done. Amen. So remember him. Amen. Unspoken request by the raising of your hand. You pray to your seat and pray at the altar. Thank you. 
Praise the Lord, Brother Michael, come up. Amen. Take up this one of tithes and offering. Amen. Give what God lays on your heart, and He'll richly bless you. Amen. Brother John, you want blessed offering this morning. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the opportunity to give you the kingdom this morning. And as we put in our seed, I ask you to multiply it greatly. Multiply this church greatly, Father. And bless each and everybody in here. And bless the people that know that are not here today. And I just ask you to just do what you need to do to it, Father. Because whenever we put in, you know what reason where it needs to be. So just take care of all your flock. In every name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to make an announcement real quick. Get you down the way. March the 31st. Amen. Our Easter service. Amen. We'll be having Easter service here on Easter Sunday. Amen. And then that afternoon, we'll be going to the Holiday Inn Express. Amen. Having our Easter dinner. Amen. So, uh, at the banquet room. Amen. And uh, we appreciate them for allowing us to have use that. Amen. We thank the Lord for that. Amen. But also, don't forget to save the change and whatever you feel like saving. Amen. If you feel like saving a dollar or two or whatever. Amen. We're just going to give it to Jesus on Easter Sunday. Amen. If it goes to the church, it don't go to me. Amen. Because I don't get none of the money from the church. I don't want everybody, you know, people say, well, Brother Miller, how do you know we're doing it? Y'all get money from the church? No, we don't take no money from the church. Amen. Unless they give it to us on uh, Christmas or something. Special occasion. Amen. They might bless us. But other than that, I don't get no gas money. Amen. I don't take no groceries. Amen. I just go and do what God tells me to do. He supplies my needs. Amen. Uh, we got people that's around the United States of America that's helping the church out. You just don't know. Amen. People here in Glasgow don't even go to this church. Amen. He helps the church. Amen. And then God blesses. Amen. Because you don't have to be say, well, I gotta have it, gotta have this. Amen. It don't work that way. Amen. If you just give God you can freely give. He said, freely you shall receive. Amen. God's word don't charge. He don't charge you a dime. Nowhere in that Bible does he charge you a dime. Amen. For his word. I was listening to a young man last night. And he said, if you'll give me a thousand. He's just starting out. He said, if you'll give me a thousand dollars. He said, I'll give you a word out of the Bible. Well, pick up the Bible. Read it for yourself. It won't cost you a thousand dollars. Amen. I said, boy, he's been watching the wrong ones. Amen. Because that ain't going to get you nowhere. Amen. It's just going to get you deeper and deeper in trouble. Amen. So, uh, but listen, don't forget that. Amen. Those are going to help Sister Nori. I'll make your way on up. Amen. And let's just get in. Let's have church. King's Highway.
Amen. Hallelujah. I got my favorite singer here with me this morning. Amen, Brother Morris. Amen. I'll tell you why, Erica, you'd be surprised of the people on the internet that likes to hear Brother Morris say, Amen. Amen. God has brought Brother Morris a long way. Amen. 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 Healed him with prostate cancer. <coughs> Amen. Has healed his back, healed his shoulder. Amen. Amen. The old devil just keeps trying to throw things on him. He just tough old bird. Amen. <laughs> Come on, Brother Morris, sing us a good one. He'll, he'll want a drummer, amen. <laughs> Which 
That's my daughter. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't everybody's prayer. I want more of you, God. Amen. 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 Sit a fire down inside Amen. my soul Thank you, Lord. that I can't contain and I can't control. But I want more of you, God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Norris wants to say more than me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Says in John 
chapter 10 and verse number 7. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. Boy, ain't we seeing that today? Oh, my goodness. But the sheep did not hear them. The true sheep won't hear them. They'll turn a deaf ear to them. Amen. Listen. Amen. He said in verse number 9, He said, And I am the door. By me, if any man entered in, he shall be saved. And shall go in and out and find pastures. The thief come not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I've came, I've come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for his sheep. Amen. Verse number 9 says, I am the door, and by me, if any man entereth in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pastures. Amen. They'll go with me. Amen. The Revelations chapter 3. Amen. In verse number 20. Amen, he says in Revelation chapter 3 and verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man would hear my voice and open the door, I will come in unto him, and I will sup with him, and he with me. Amen, hallelujah. Verse number 8 in John chapter 10, Amen, says, All Verse 9, I am the door, and by me, if any man entereth in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pastures. Blessed Heavenly Father, Lord God, as we come to you this morning, Lord, we thank you, God, for your word. Thank you, Lord God, for what you placed upon our heart. Lord, as we were getting the shower, Lord God, you spoke it into our spirit. And Lord God, we just ask God that you would move this morning. Lord, that you would touch those on live stream this morning. Those on Big O Live. Those on Facebook this morning. Those on YouTube. Heavenly Father, that they don't know how to come to you. But Lord, I pray that they find you today. I pray God that you would move today. Lord, take a call off the altar. Purge my lips. That I'll say what thus saith the word of the Lord. Heavenly Father God, I pray if I've done anything wrong, said anything wrong, or done anything displeasing unto you, Lord God, or if I've sinned against you in any way, I ask you to forgive me. I don't want nothing, God, to hinder me from bringing this bread of life forth this morning. I pray, God, that it goes out. I pray, God, that it accomplish what it's supposed to do today. Heavenly Father, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you the honor. Lord, let the Holy Ghost be the leader today. Let him be the teacher. Let him be the preacher today. Heavenly Father, we give you praise, glory, and honor. And the church say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I was uh, reading this this morning, Brother Johnny, and I was studying the Word of God. Amen. And God began to lay this on my heart. Amen. And I said, Thank you, Lord. Amen. People said, Well, what are we going to talk about this morning? I'm going to talk about He's the door. And the only way you're going to get to heaven is you've got to go through that door. Amen. He said, if you go through that door, you'll be saved. Amen. But there's a lot of people, amen, says, I don't want to go through that door. I, I've heard that there's many doors to go through. I've got news for you. He's the only door, and you cannot go no other way. There's not going to be 12 or 13 doors up there. Amen. There's only one door, and He is that door. Who is that door? That's Jesus. Amen. He's the one. Amen. He, as I was reading this morning, He began to speak to my spirit. He said, the only way that people can come to me is they got to come through the door. He said, Behold, I stand at your door and knock. If any man would open unto me, I would come in, and I would suck with them, and them suck with me. But the first thing is, 
uh, he is that poor. Uh, amen. And we got to open up to him and walk into him. Amen. And let him be our father. Amen. 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 Let him be our Lord of our life. Amen. I was sitting here yep, and I was thinking, I said, Lord, hallelujah, you've been blessing. Amen. And I, I was, you know what I was thinking for? <laughs> Sister Buddy, I was thinking, amen, for that soul that got saved Thursday night. Amen. I said, Lord, I thank you, God, for saving Frank. I thank you for that one on TikTok. Amen. He gave his life to you Thursday night. Amen. And he said he came through the door. Amen. He came through the door. He heard the knock. Amen. At the door. Amen. And he opened the door and he came through me. Amen. He came through the door. And he got saved. Amen. That's how you get saved. Amen. You got to go to him. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, Behold, I'll stand at the door and I'll knock. Amen. I thought, Lord, amen, listen to this. Hallelujah. The Bible gives some principles to help us edify the door. Amen. First, the door that God opens will never, amen, go contrary to the Word of God. Amen. It will never go contrary to it. Brother Morris, it will never. Amen. Number two, the door that God opened will accomplish. Amen. And confirmation. Amen. He'll give you confirmation when He opens the door. Amen. When you open the door to Him, Amen. He'll give you what you're asking for. Amen. He'll give you confirmation. Somewhere down the road, somebody will say, Hey, I remember you were praying one night and you was asking God to open the door. And God said, Hey, I'm going to tell you what you was praying about. Amen. Then you got your confirmation. Amen. He will give you confirmation. Amen. Open the door. Hallelujah. Number three, the door that God will open requires you to depend on everybody else. No, you got to depend on the Lord. Amen. He said you depend on the Lord. Amen. Listen to this. Amen. I was looking on the internet. Amen. To find something about the door. Amen. The Bible tells us the door. Take your opportunity or open the door to God and ask for His confirmation. Huh? Through the Word. See, you got to go through the Word. See, a lot of people, Brother John, you won't go through the Word of God. Amen. Amen. They just take their own life, do what they want to do. Amen. I was listening to that garbage last night. Amen. Where they were saying, Amen. They were talking about the devil and doing the devil. Amen. And they were talking about he's a door that you can go into because you can open that satanic door and you can walk into it. And let me tell you something, dead spirits will get upon you. Amen. When you open them satanic doors. Amen. When you start watching that garbage, amen, them doors will open up. Amen. Them demons will start talking to that mind. Amen. Because listen, it can't get inside of you unless you open the door and let it in. Amen. The same with Jesus. Amen. You gotta open the door and let him come into you. Amen. Because he said, I'll come in and I'll suck with you. Amen. But the devil, amen, will start playing with a Christian's mind. Amen. And he'll start sending them demons to torment your mind. Amen. And get you to do things you shouldn't do. Amen. And you open the door to him. Amen. Amen. Well, Brother Miller, I, I listen, I was watching them, amen, making them satanic signs. And everybody around them, oh, we're Christians. We're Christians. That's the number one thing going in the United States of America now, is we're Christians. Here they're wearing crosses upside down. Out there, gyrating with one another on the pool, out there on the stage. Committing adultery. Amen, out there making curses on people, trying to get everybody in that congregation out there during the halftime show was trying to get everybody to focus upon one thing, and that was the devil. Amen. Wasn't the football game, it was the devil. 
that they were trying to get people to focus upon. Yep. Amen. And I was watching it. And I said, oh my goodness. Amen. I began to stop it. And I began to look at it. And I said, you see? Amen. The devil is trying to open up the portals. Amen. And trying to get the people to go through the door. And Jesus spoke to me in the shout. He said, I am the door. The devil cannot be the door. I am the only way. Amen. That you can be saved. The devil is lying to people. And saying you can go this door. And you can go to that door. And you can go into this way. And you can go that way. Amen. But there's only one way. And that is Jesus. Amen. He said, I am the way. The truth and the life. No man can come to the Father. But by me. No, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Nobody. I said, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for what you showed me. I thank you. Did you know the Bible said straight is the gate? And narrow is the way. Amen. You know what gate represents? It represents the door. It represents the door opening up. And you go through it. Heaven, Lord. Amen. To walk with Jesus, you got to walk straight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I begin to read Sister Teresa. And I begin to search it. Amen. A door. Amen. You have to open that door to come in here. Yeah. And you got to open that door to go out. Amen. Amen. And this is what the world's doing today. Amen. They're picking different doors. The woman that came out and said there's many ways to get to heaven. The preacher that came out and said there's many ways to get to heaven. The other bishop that came out and said there's other ways to get to heaven than one. Guess what? That woman that said there's many doors. Now she's out there revealing the things that's going on with these preachers. She's saying, look at them. See what they're doing now. Commit the acts with me. Instead of with men. What did the Bible say? In the last days it would be what? Men would love her, love her, love be lovers of themselves more than they are lovers of God. Leave the natural effect of a woman to be with a man. Amen. Vice versa, a woman would leave the natural effects to be with a a woman. What are they doing today? Amen. But there's doors when we go through. I've got this for you. The door that you're going to go through is going to take you straight to hell. You're going straight to hell. Because listen, my Bible says that when He forgives you of your sins, He made you worse whiter than snow. Homosexuality is more shadow. Amen. The adultery is more shadow. Fornication. It's washed out of you. Cussing is washed out of you. Amen. Lying is washed out of you. He said thieves and robbers. Amen. What have we got? Thieves and robbers. Now we got young men coming up. Amen. You got thousand dollars. Send it to me and I'll give you a word out of the Bible. Yep, Lord. Huh? I'll give you a word right now. It won't cost you a dime. Yep, For God so loved the world that he gave his own begotten son. And whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Verse number 17, For God sent not his Son into this world to condemn this world, but that the world through him might, might be saved. Amen. Through who? The door. Amen. He said, I am the door. Amen. I am the door to the sheep. And my sheep will know my voice. Amen. My sheep ain't going to listen to them thieves and robbers. The harlot will. The goats will. But my true sheep won't listen to them. Amen. Amen. They won't pay no never mind to them. Amen. They'll stand up against them. Amen. Help it, Jesus said, I laid my life down for my sheep. Will a man lay his life down for his sheep? Help it, Lord. Amen. He said, I am that door. Brother Michael spoke to me just in plain that. I said, Behold, I stand. I was in the shower and I said, Lord, i got to have something to preach on this morning. I said, Lord, I've read the Bible. you got to just give me something. And while I was praying, all of a sudden, behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man would open unto me, I'll come in and I'll sit with him. And he with me. I said, thank you, Lord, for that verse. Then he said, I am that door. Amen. I am that door. I said, okay, Lord. Amen. And I began to pray. 
begin to read the Bible. Amen. He said, I am the door. Amen. You can't come to the Father except by me. Amen. He said, me and my Father are one. Amen. But I'm going to be right there beside of him. I'm sitting on the throne beside of him. Amen. I read over in Revelation. Amen. Chapter 20 and verse 4. He said, and them were sitting on the throne. Them. And I ain't that bright on the stick. But I know what them means. That means more than one. Amen. Amen. That means more than one. Yeah, Lord. Amen. If you if you ain't been back to me, go back to grade school, learn what them is, then you need to learn it. Yeah, the Lord. That means more than one. Amen. He said, I'm sitting by them. Amen. Oh Lord. The Bible's plain he speaks of it. From the beginning to the end. Jesus said, I was in the beginning and I'm in the end. Amen. You know why he's going to be in the end? Because he's the one that takes us through to heaven. Amen. He said, the only way you can get to the Father is by me. Amen. So you can't get to that one unless you go by him. Amen. Uh-oh. Well. Hmm. But I, my mind will stay on Jesus. My mind, I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind, Sister Bonnie, on Jesus. Amen. I was praying for my daughter. Amen. But I woke up this morning with my mind stayed upon that door. I woke up this morning, amen, thinking about what's been going on, amen, in this world. I've been thinking about my little children, amen, they're my children because i got to preach the word to them, amen. He said, they're your sheep. you got to feed them, Amen. I was thinking, Lord, what can I preach to them? He said, I am the door. Tell them the only way they're going to get to me, amen, is they got to walk in the door. Amen. They got to talk in the door. They got to praise in the door. Amen. They got to shout in the door. They got to live in the door. Amen. They got to be holy in the door. Amen. In order to make it to heaven. He said, without holiness, no man shall see God. Amen. I'm here to tell you this morning. Amen. Oh Lord, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. brother Johnny, I told Lord, I want to make it to the door. I want the door to walk with me. I want to wake up in the morning with the door on my mind. I want to wake up, oh no, boss, with Jesus on my mind. I don't want the things of this world on my mind. Amen. I'm putting the devil. Notice, amen, he's not, amen, getting this church, he's not getting this sheep, amen, because it's the blood that's applied, amen, to the sheep. Amen. Come on, amen. The Bible said a shepherd, amen, will watch over the sheep. Amen. Amen, Jesus watched over us when he went to the cross. Like I said, we're Thursday night. Amen. The blood is still washing away sins. Amen. The world has got off focus. It's all about financing. It's all about money. It's all about robbery. I heard one sister Bonnie say, the Lord told me, the Lord told me that there was a thousand people in here is going to give a thousand dollars. Oh, he said, and the Lord spoke to me and said they would speak five hundred. In here was going to give a hundred. He said the Lord spoke to me and told me they were fifty in here going to give fifty. Do the math. Amen. A thousand and a thousand dollars is a million dollars. Amen. Read it. Amen. Think about it. Amen. Robin and thieves. Amen. In the house of God. Amen. And the sheep. The true sheep knows them. But the dog don't. Amen. I begin to listen to that, Sister Teresa. Listen, God don't. Jesus, nowhere in that Bible. 
Did the door charge anybody to be healed? Uh, he told me, as I was reading the word this morning, Brother Michael, I don't charge nobody for being saved. I don't charge nobody for my blood that washes them whiter than snow. See, I was in the dollar store yesterday. And I looked at Tide. I looked at Gay. I looked at, what is that extra? Whatever it's called. That generic brand. I looked at Sun. And I said, where's the blood? Where's the blood? Because the blood will wash you whiter than snow. Amen. You won't you, listen. I can't get all the dirt out. Can't get it make it smell good, but it can't get all the dirt out. It can't get the sin out of your life. You can try to wash yourself in it, and it's not going to get the sin out. It's not going to get the lying out. It's not going to get the cussing out. Amen. It's not going to get the cheating out. Amen. It's not going to get adultery out. It's not going to get fornication out. Amen. It's not going to get drunkenness out. It's not going to get the drug addict out. Amen. But the blood of Jesus. Amen. It'll wash you whiter. I am that door. Oh my goodness. I wish people could get this this morning. I wish you could get this this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Revelations. Amen. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Huh? If. Luke 12 36. And ye yourself. Like it unto men that wait for the Lord when He will return from the wedding. That when He comes and knocks, they may open unto Him immediately. Immediately. When you come to Him, immediately. That door will be open. If you come to Him sincere and you come humble to Him. Luke 12 and 37. Blessed are those servants who the Lord, when He cometh, shall find plain. Come rapid. Huh? Come playing with lottery tickets. Huh? Come drinking alcohol and eating a cheeseburger. Huh? Uh oh. Come committing adultery. Come doing fornication. Come smoking meth. Huh? Come on. What did he say? He said, Come find you watching. Verily, I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth. And serve them. Amen. Who's them? We are them. Amen. We are the ones that came through great tribulation. Yep, it's got a role, bro. Why? And he said he's going to set us down by the door. Brother Johnny, the door's going to set us down at the table. Yep, There's a seat waiting for you, Brother Johnny. There's a seat waiting for you, Sister Sherry. Sister Connie, there's a seat with your name on it. Jesus said, I'm going to give you a name. I got a name for you. The Lord's got your name all written down in the palm of his hands. God said over in Isaiah, He said, I got your name written in the palm of my hands. I know, boy, he's got a big hand because he holds the whole world in his hands. Oh, Lord, we little children. In his hands, he's got the whole wide world. In his hand, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hand. He's got you and me, sister. In his hand. He's got you and me, brother. In his hand. He's got you and me, brother. In his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the little bitty babies. In his hand. He's got the little bitty babies. He's got the little bitty babies. The devil ain't got them. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Amen. God's got a bigger hand. Amen. And he's going to keep them in his hand. Amen. The devil might howl. And he might bark. Amen. But he ain't going to get them. Amen. Because there's still some blood bought people. Amen. That's walking through the door. Amen. It's going to hold a blood stain banner up against them. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, Lord. John 10 and 3. 
the porter opens and the sheep hear his voice and he calleth his own sheep by name and they lead them out he's a porter <laughs> not only is he the door but he's a porter <laughs> ain't you glad you're a porter brother Michael Right. Ain't you glad you're a water boy, Brother Michael? Right. Hug it out of your belly, shall blow rivers of living water. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If any man hear my voice and open the door, listen. Amen. John 14 and 23. And Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words. And my father. And my Father will love him. And we will come unto him. Uh oh. Now there goes my English again. There goes my schoolwork again. Yep, Lord. Did y'all catch that one? Huh? Did you catch that little nugget right there? He said, And my Father will love him. And we, well, I remember what we mean. We mean stew. Yep, Lord. More than one. We oh Lord, how mercy, how mercy! It's glad he's the door. Yes. Amen. And the only way we can get to the bottom is we gotta go by the door. We gotta go by the door. People better get in this word, and they better read the word for the word. <laughs> Amen. He said, "Read my word, hear my word." Amen. Hear them. <laughs> Woo! Glory to God. Man, I feel good. I feel uncommonly good. Huh? He said to him, that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even also overcame and am set down with my father. Uh-oh. He's got a throne. And his father's got a throne. And he's sitting down by his father. Will it? Look, let's go to King Charles, all right? Yep, and Lord. He's got his throne that he said to him. Queen Elizabeth had her throne, she said. Yep, and How many was that to? You know, Prince, whatever his name was. Hey, man, he had places in him, too. Come on. <laughs> Come on now. Jesus is telling you here. He said, to him that overcome, you got to overcome. Amen. Will I grant to sit with me? in my throne, even as I also overcame, and I am set down by my with my Father in His throne. And he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the church. So you got to have an ear, in other words, to hear what the Bible's telling you, what the Word of God's telling you. It's not me telling you. I'm telling you what the Word of God says. I'm not adding to the Word of God. I'm just using here. I'm just using the English language. Amen. When I say we, that means more than one. Amen. When I say them, that means more than one. Amen. When I say he's sitting by his father's throne. Amen. And he's sitting on his throne. That means there's two thrones. Do the math. And over in there he said that the Holy Ghost was standing behind him. Uh oh. Huh. Praise the Lord. The Word. Listen to what he said. Amen. I am the door. By me, if any man enters in, he shall be. And shall go out and find pasture. But listen, verse number 10. Now let's go to verse 8. And all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. Can I tell you, God's tired of this stuff going on right now? Yeah, the Lord. That's Jesus' writing. That ain't my writing. That's Jesus' words. That he told John. He said, This is what he was telling John. Sister Tracy. He said, All come before me. This thief and robbers. He said, I love a cheerful giver, not a one who gives grudgingly. 
Can I tell you what the seed is? It's not your money. The seed is the Word of God. And when you sow the Word of God, God will speak to your heart and tell you what to do. Listen to your heart. Amen. Because your heart, when you tell God, God, I'm going to give you this amount, then you better give God that amount. But you say, God, I'm going to give you nothing more. Because see, you're giving it from the heart. But if you give it grudgingly, well, my God, get out that way. <laughs> God ain't going to accept that. He won't accept it grudgingly. Nothing more. Amen. He said, I love a cheerful giver. I love somebody that's willing to give to me freely. See, I don't preach on it. But I don't have no ties. There's too many churches right now that tell their religion is based on these ties, 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 ties. You know what the Word of God says. You do what the Word of God says. He said, you know the Word. You read the Word. You go through the door. You go through the door. Amen. And you read that Word for yourself. Amen. And when God speaks to you and says, hey, I want you to give this much, you give what God gives you to give. And guess what? He's going to bless you abundantly. Amen. He said, I'll bless you. Run it over. Well, then give unto your bosom. And then see, when I give you the word, the door, guess what? I'm getting blessed. Because the Bible said that he would give unto my bosom. And then as long as I bless yeah, the sheep, as long as I feed the sheep, he's going to feed me. And he's going to take care of me. Just Tracy needs to care of me a long time. He's brought me a long way. He's brought me through hurt. He's brought me through people hating me. Amen. He's brought me a long way. Amen. I had to put the devil in his place. Yep. Amen. He's let me live 64 years not never been in the hospital. And I thank him for that because come June, it'll be 64 years. And I thank him every day for my health because he knows i got to take care of her. And I thank the Lord every day. Somebody said, boy, you might be in my bed. That's right, I might be in there tomorrow. But you know what? I went the other day to the doctor, and all she'd done was fell to my shoulder. <laughs> she didn't even ask me to breathe. She just looked at me. She said, you've gained some weight. I said, your scales are high. <laughs> I said, well, since I ain't got no hardly no teeth in my mouth, I have to eat something solid. I said, so I've been eating them chocolate donuts, you know. I gave up little Debbie's. God told me to get rid of them. I got rid of them. Well, man, I love those ones that were strawberry. The sticks that were strawberry. You know, man, I was putting a box of them away a day. <laughs> Brother Johnny, I started eating them just like Lay's table chips. I can't eat them no more because of my gums. And I can go through a bag and a half of chicken chips in a day. Sister Teresa, that'd be my midnight snack. Ain't then, and, and I thought, boy, well, I, mm, I get these teeth out. Everybody else can eat everything without them. I couldn't. Yeah, to this day, I still can't because my gums get so sore. But guess what? I'm to get my dentures. Mm -hmm. right, I'll be able to eat my cashew nuts again. Amen. Hey, I'll be able to eat my apples again, blue horses. Hey, Amen. I'll be able to chalk down on them, Sister Teresa. But you know what? I'd rather chalk down on the Word of God because the Bible said it's Yep, Lord. Sometimes that word, brother, it gets, gets so bitter when it gets down in the And you know what the Bible said? It's not what goes in a man that defiles the man, but it's what comes out. Yeah. So when you go to the toilet, what comes out of you? Something that it defiles you. Yeah. Amen. Mm. It's not what goes in, but it's what comes out of the drawer. The Bible said it's what comes out of the draw. Amen. He didn't call it the backside. He didn't call it like a lot of people say. He said it comes out of the draw. The draw. Go to the doctor. She's going to do a prostate exam. What are you going to do? Uh, you going to go to the draw? What's that? <laughs> Never heard of that before. That's a new one to me. Because you don't read the Bible. Yep, See, I read in the Bible the other day that he caused hemorrhoids to fall upon them and they died because of the hemorrhoids. Amen. Because of the wicked that they done. Who was it? It was the children of Israel. Yep. All over the Bible, the children of Israel got punished. Amen. And you think you're going to get by without getting punished? Nope. Read the Word. It's in the Word. Amen. Well, I wish I had my Word, son. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
I'm just a poor old hillbilly, amen. I just preach what God gives me. I got to stop laying out there, Charity. Amen. I ain't changed. I'm still the same as I was when you was just look like a Barbie doll sitting up there playing the piano. Good man. Little Johnny, just a little bit old fella. Hey, man. And I was like, man, here they're going to put me in third place in this bass band. And I'm like, whew, I got to learn how to do this. <laughs> we did it. Amen. We had some good times. It was good. Amen. Had a good revival. You know why? Because I preached the Word of God, Sister Tracy. Yeah, Lord. The Word. The Bible says you're got by the Word. The word. You ain't got by me. You ain't got by Joel Osteen. You ain't got by Kenneth Copeland. Lord help you. You are by him. Amen. What's that woman's name? Uh, the blonde headed one? She was on there the other night. She's telling people. Yeah. She said, let me tell you. No, I'm not talking about it. But she said, let me tell you something. She said, you want, you want to get healthy. You want to get well. And that girl said, man, what are you going to do? She said, well, I, I, the Lord had just spoke to me. And the Lord said, there's a woman. And he said, She said, well, it starts with a T. It might be Tina. What? She said, but I'm going to tell you, your mama's going to get better, and she's going to get up, and she's going to walk, and she's going to... She said, my mama's been dead since 2009. How's your mama going to get up and walk? <laughs> How's your mama going to get up and walk? Oh, she's got the fish tail out of that one. Well, i got to come up with something now. And she couldn't come up with nothing because God stopped her. Amen. He brought her down to stuff on her. That's what's going on in our world today. They're telling people lies. They're thieves and they're robbers and they're liars behind the pulpit. They're not preaching the word, Brother John. I listen to them. They don't ever ask you to be born again. They don't ever preach on Nicodemus coming to Jesus. They don't never tell you that Jesus, amen, said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. They don't tell you, amen, that He is the door. Amen. They tell you they want your money. Amen. The robbers. Yep, spoke to me in the Spirit, in the Word. Well, he said, how does He speak the Word? Because He is the Word. He told me. In the Word, He said, all comes to me to speak to the robbers. Anymore, that's all's coming to me. Because that's all they're coming to me. Is they're robbing my people. They're robbing my sheep. They're stealing from me. They're taking that poor little woman's last bit of money that she's got. They're taking that man, that crippled man's money that can't even get out of a wheelchair. They're taking his money because he thinks they're going to get him out of that wheelchair. You know what they do in their prayer requests? They open it up, get the money out, and they throw them away. You know what we do with them? Right here. And you know what? There's almost seven years of prayer requests in this box. Amen. You say, how they get in that box? We don't have a clue. We just keep putting them in there every church service. We pray over them every church service. Amen. We've seen people come off of ventilators. Seen a young girl, 12 years old, come off of ventilator. We had just that church start at the church just a little bit. And there's a woman in Texas that her baby, amen, the doctor says she'll never come home. 12 years old, she was going to die because she was on a ventilator. And you know what? I told her, I said, our church is going to start praying for her. We're going to put her in our prayer box. Three days later, she sends me a text and says, praise God, my child's home. She's off the ventilator. She's at home. She's doing better. She's a walking now. Amen. She's grown up. Amen. She's longer. Amen. She's no longer. She's about 16 years old now. Amen. And she's still doing fine. Amen. You come too late to tell me that the door ain't doing no healing. You come too late to tell me that he ain't still saving. Amen. Because he saved Frank the other night. Amen. There was others that got touched the other night. Amen. I'm here to tell you. Amen. And God is still on the throne, and Jesus is still saving souls today. Hallelujah. You know, a friend of ours asked.
asked us to be praying for. That they had to have so much money. Or they were, they were going to take a bunch of the money. Amen. And all of a sudden, God supplied the money. Amen. Amen. And their taxes were taken care of. God did it. All we got now is you got preachers that tells people you gotta live like me. You gotta do like me. You do what God wants you to do. Amen. You live like God wants you to do. He said, work out your own salvation, salvation with, fear with fear and trembling. Who? Before who? The Lord. The Lord. Work out your own. There's too many people, amen, trying to tell you that you can go out here and drink. You can go out here and commit adultery. You can go out here and shack up. Amen. You can go out here and do this. And you can go out here and do that and still go to heaven. He said you ain't. Because you're a thief and you're a robber. You're not going to make it that way. You know, my Bible tells me that he said on that day they're going to stand before God. He's either going to say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter into the joys of the Lord. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I'm going to make you rule over me. Or is he going to look at you and say, Depart from me. I never knew you. He said, They're going to say, Did we not cast out demons in thy name? Did we not preach in thy name? Did we not do miracles in thy name? Did we not do this? And he's going to look at him and say, Depart from me. I never knew you. And he's going to say, cast them into the lake of fire. Where there's weeping and weeping and gnashing. See, Brother Johnny, I talk to the Lord in my bathroom. Hey, Amen. I'll be sitting on the throne and I say, Lord, I thank you for this white horse and throne that you got me to sit on. Help the Lord. And I can just get along with the Lord and just, I don't take a magazine in there and flip through a magazine like a Sears robot just to see women with their bras on and stuff like that. Like we used to do when we were kids. We was curious when we were little kids. We'd have to go out to the Owl House and we'd have that J.C. Penn book. Come on, ain't none of y'all done that? Have y'all ever been in the Owl House? Does anybody know where the Owl House is? I know. Uh, it's outside Crowley. They call it the Witch Book back then. Yeah, no Witch Book. We get in there and we wish for a Christian. That one, or he wished for that one. And I know it wasn't going to happen because he ain't going to come out of that magazine. <laughs> but I said, little boy, Brother Johnny, hey, if you didn't think stuff like that, then you need to get this altar. Well, it all went through people's minds. Come on. Then women will get in there and they'll sit and they'll look through there and they'll see them big men in there and they'll six packs. <laughs> Speedos on. Yeah, I like getting one of them whenever I grew up. I grew one of them. Come on. But then I'll throw them all over and I'll see that bicycle, that little swim bicycle, that banana seat on your brother Gary, that big yellow canary swim bike, you know, big chopper of my boy's sweet bike. And I say, Lord, I'd like to have one of them. Then go out at midnight, big cold, snow on the ground, you gotta go sit down on that old cold thing. Hey man, they empty the drawers. Hey man. Come on, church. Hey man, if we was back to those days, they would be a lot. They'd be a lot of kids straighten up. <laughs> hey man, if we was back in those days working pumping gas at fifty cents an hour, I was over at McDonald's the other night at ten thirty. The doors was locked, but I opened the door and went in. It was locked. I opened the door and went in, but Lord, I'm going to say, hey, the lobby's closed. We can't wait on you. Go out into the. Well, the manager she come up there. She's talking to me because they all know. They think I'm one of the stop going up shoppers. But when I go in everybody, they 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 got me on the spot. You know? <laughs> she said, I'm posting at eleven o'clock. I said, What? She said, I'm shutting the whole place down at eleven o'clock. She said, I ain't nobody wants to work. Fourteen, fifteen dollars an hour and no one work. Not trying to fry him. Put French fries in the fryer and put them in the house. But Little Johnny, I was, I said, you know, man, if they was like me when I told her, I said, man, if they was like me when I was growing up their age, I was working pumping gas, six cents an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Run horse. And I thought, boy, when I got that paycheck, it was going to be a good one. I get it five dollars. Well, that wasn't even my business. 
Well, back then it would. Well, they going to be seen it. And I was like, man, I've worked all week long for $5. Well, see, I didn't get to work every, every day for certain days. I make $5. Man, I wasn't broke. I couldn't rub two pennies together sometimes. But in the school, when we were in school, see, we had to go out and we had to work in the fields. See, that's where y'all are. Y'all are the sheep. You're in school. You need to go out and work in the fields. What are you talking about, Brother Miller? He said go out into the highways and the byways and the hedges and compel them to come in. But see, when we were in school, we had to go out and detest. Had anybody ever detested corn? We had to go through out. We had to leave school and go out and detest the corn for the farmers. And we'd get a quarter a day. <laughs> that wouldn't even buy a cinnamon roll. <laughs> <laughs> All day we go do that, Brother Michael. Then we went to this one farmer and he had, I mean, all you could see was just corn. He said, I'm going to bless these kids today. And at the end of the roads, we get down there and you have a cooler there with a good old Pepsi or a Mountain Dew or you know, Dr. Pepper or root beer, something like that. It was a treat back then. That was a treat. But boy, at the end of the day, he came up to us and he gave us all $10. Man, I was tickled to death. I was ready to go back to his house or back to him and do it again. <laughs> Amen? But then the school, when I was going to school, see, they could get you a job. When you turn 16, they would get you a job. Well, I was going to have a job pumping gas. And my teacher said, would you like to make a little bit more? Saving five cents an hour. Well, I thought, boy, that quarter makes more. I make more. I get another quarter. So I went to work at a, a department store. And I was working at this department store. And I thought, man, you know, putting clothes up on the racks, you know, unboxing stuff, and unloading trucks, you know, 75 cents an hour. You can't even get them to work now at White Castle for $18 an hour. Man. What's wrong with this world? But we got to give them Jesus. See, this is this is our church school, and you got to go out into the highways and the valleys and the hedges and compel them to come in so they can go through the door Man. and they can come to the door. Amen. Sheep be got sheep. Amen. Sheep beget sheep. They got to go out and bring them in. Amen. That's what we have to do, church. And we're going to this year. We're going back out here. Amen. We made a big impact on them people when we gave them a hot dog today. Are you sure you want to give me this? Are you sure? We said that we could, I don't know, somebody said a jar or something up there. And people would put money in it, but I would not ask them to do that. We were giving them food. It's a lot. God bless. Amen. God bless. A lot of them said they were hungry without. A lot of them said we'd be starving if we did A lot of homeless, there's one homeless man come up there to any kind. And Connie didn't just kept bugging up with him. Even Michael even took him to his car. Didn't know what they were going to eat. Didn't know what they were going to have. But God did. Well, you said, hey, we gave them Jesus too. We did just give Sister Charlotte, she speaks, speaks Spanish. She was talking to them. We had a Chinese guy come up there. And all he wanted was lemonade or tea. Tea. All he wanted was tea. He wanted pay me. I said, no, it's free. Why, why, why? I said, it's free. Don't cost a dime. It's free. He said, oh, okay. He put money in the jar. He didn't have to do that. Man. He said, I want to. He didn't want nothing to eat. He didn't want a hot dog. I thought I was offended because he didn't want a hot dog. But there was a lot of people. Amen. That was blessed because we went out into the highways. We went out into the byways. And Sister Charlotte and Sister Teresa all the rest of them, they worked. And they witnessed to people. And they told them about Jesus. Amen. We have to We had someone to come and visit. Amen. But I'm telling you what Jesus told me this morning. And I'm about ready to close. Listen. He said in verse number 8, All that ever come before me 
are thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not hear them. Remember what I said in Revelation? If you have an ear, let you hear what the Spirit says what to the church. Verse number 9. I, I am the door. And by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go out in my pastures. The message today is you got to go through the door.
Hey, can I say one more thing? All right. You know, you've been shouting today a lot. I mean, probably you, I mean, you really have you really been loud. And here's the point of it. Uh, he never made one peep, and you would bluntly, isn't that something how, like, they hear noise, but you went through your hole, and he never made it as peaceful as to be watching him sleep. You know that? I just, I said, yeah, he made it, I thought he was going to get up. Yeah, he and he did, it was just like, even though how loud you were, it was just like peaceful. He made it, he got your it was, it was going to be good. You think that little babies don't hear that, but they do hear the word. Right. 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 They right. hear it. Hey, man, I, I, no doubt Jerry probably sent to him while he was in her belly. Hey, man, if you'll be a fifth of here, he'll let come to him. That's not fine. Right now. You see, Bob and Holden. Praise the Lord, we'll tell our live streams. We appreciate y'all. I don't know how many watches don't be going live this morning. Amen. We've been having a, a quite a bit of watches don't be going live. Amen. But we appreciate y'all. We love you. Facebook Live, we love you. We appreciate you. We ask you please tune us back in tonight. Amen. At 6 o'clock. Amen. Come expecting God to do something great tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. We come expecting we'll receive something. Amen. But we appreciate you. We love you until tonight at 6 o'clock. May God bless you. From Heathrow Community Church, we love you.